Now it is finally time to officially get our Dancing with the Stars after party going. We are thrilled to have back all the finalists here in Times Square after flying all night long, Lara. Yes, we are, Robin. We will chat with the Mirabel champs in just a moment. But first, we want you to take a look back at the history-making season 30. Oh, my God. Imana Daniela! He's already got a championship ring. Now, NBA superstar Iman Shumpert can add a mirror ball to his trophy case. After a perfect score, Iman going down in Dancing with the Stars history. The first NBA player to take home a win. King of the ballroom. The battle for the mirror ball fierce. The all-star cast leaving everything on the dance floor. Pop Phenom, Jojo Siwa, and Jenna. The show's first same-sex couple, wowing the judges week after week. Was there something I could have said to make it all stop hurting? Comfort zones eliminated. Limits pushed. And new skills were put to the test. For fitness guru Cody Rigsby, this season was game-changing. I have tested positive for COVID. I have. COVID. After the first ever remote performance, an epic return to the ballroom, proving he and Cheryl were a force to be reckoned with. Over 10 weeks, the stars dancing their way into America's hearts. In week nine, Amanda paying tribute to her late husband, dancing to his song. Weeks of tough eliminations, showing it was anybody's game. He may have hung up his jersey, but on the dance floor, when he shoots, he scores. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and the history-making Mirabal Trophy winners are joining us now. I'm on Chumpert, the first NBA player to win Dancing with the Stars, and his partner, Daniela. Danny, you guys. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's hear it. Come on. Aman, <laughs> you know, this is so fun for us. Uh, at Backstage, everyone was saying you bring such a wonderful energy, not only this morning, but to this entire season. You were the underdogs. Yeah. So how does it feel looking at that trophy next to you? Uh, accomplished. <laughs> uh, I felt like um, the whole season, uh, I was like telling Danny, I'm like, man, you just like great at what you do. And everybody was saying that she didn't have a mirror ball yet, so I'm just like really happy <laughs> she got one now. Y'all can get rid of that excuse. She got one now. Um, but it, it's literally been amazing, like to be a part of, you know, Dancing with the Stars, all the people that they had before me, and for them to even want me on the show is just, you know, that was the best nod that I could have had. Well, you heard what Bruno said. King of the ballroom. Hey man, I take it. I, 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 I take and, it. And Julianne Huff said the best freestyle dance in the 30 seasons wow. of Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. That's huge. Well, That's huge. Where'd you learn those moves? Um, uh, King Kimo actually flew in from Chicago to teach us both yeah. how to footwork. I thought it was cool that all season I had to learn like all these dance styles. And then for the finale, Danny's like, no, I'm gonna learn how to footwork. Like we're going like, I'm gonna go there with you. Like, you keep coming here, and we're, we're going to these, yeah. And it was like cool to have that, that flip flop and have her have that solo moment and feel like yes. she's at a house party with me in Chicago having a good time. So I thought it was cool to just play back and forth. I, I gotta give a little props to your wife. Cause you know, she's got some moves too. Oh yeah, she go, <laughs> <laughs> she go make sure I, uh, I'm on point. Uh, the cool thing is, I, I talk about it all the time. It's like having the angel devil uh, oh. thing on your shoulder. I got like Danny telling me like proper footwork, do this, knock this out, do this. And then Tiana's like, all right, now we gonna give a show. <laughs> All right, take all that, and now we're going to give a show, like, full out. And then Danny's like, yeah, more. Like, show that. <laughs> Danny's like, throw that off. Throw it. <laughs> you know, did you see Missy Tweet, uh, Missy Elliott, because you danced to her song? She did? She sent out a tweet. No this way. is what This is what she said about y'all. No way. You snapped hard on that footwork. <laughs> so can you show us a little like bit? It. Can you show us a little bit? Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So full out, we got some music. <laughs> Can't move on here. 
Yeah. I can't move on here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, hey, that's a lot better than most of us could do oh, without no, a we, doubt. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of fun. It's a, a high energy dance, though. Uh, just Chicago footwork, period, is tiring. So can you do me a favor? I, there, there is a, Danielle, can you two stand up and stand back to back? Because, oh. yo. <laughs> Mine is a whole foot taller no, than you. Oh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> but, so how, how did you use that to your advantage? How did you and use I'm that? on heels. Come on. So, and in a high ponytail. <laughs> but, and but, I'm so, okay, so how did you butt. use the height difference to your advantage? I said, lift me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you're not allowed to do all season, right? So then no. you would just go for it. No, no we, worked our, we worked on our frame a lot, uh, making it, you know, customized to us. In a way where customized. customized. We customized our frame. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.